Oh my God, you guys, it's Wig Wednesday. Hi everyone, James Mantle here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, it's time for another episode of Trash the Treasure. Oh, this kind of, this wig isn't really trash. Like looking at it, it's actually kind of nice. I found it in my garage in my pile of wigs that were donations to me. Cause believe it or not, people donate wigs to me. <laughs> I very much appreciate it. Thank you so much. My house isn't cluttered enough. Thank you for contributing. I'm soon gonna be that woman with the wigs piled up to the ceiling with like a flattened puff somewhere. This is our wig and she is a gorgeous blonde. Did you say it's blonde, Ernie? Yeah, you have that whole argument with Maddie and people came for you. It's my biggest blonde hair that I have at the moment. Again, you keep saying this is blonde. It's, why do you mean it's not blonde? <laughs> what is it? That is brunette. This is not brunette, this is blonde. According to who? It's a dirty blonde. It's like a golden like blonde. It's not brown. It's not brunette. If a blonde is dirty blonde, that means it's a failure to achieve blonde. You only wear platinum. That's different. <laughs> your standards, your standards have been so shifted because you've been staring at a wall of platinum blonde hair <laughs> for the past like 10 years and it's all you know now. I didn't realize I was sitting like the Raquel Welch. Okay, I'm glad you enjoy your burnt toffee colored blonde wig. I invite you into my home and you insult me. I have been nothing but I thought that's what you invited me here for. Genial. No, I bring you here so I can insult you because the audience oh, likes well, that. It's good, for my for, it. it's good for my TikTok algorithm. Oh, that's right. That's true because Dirty Blonde is a myth. <laughs> we have this beautiful brunette wig and I cannot wait to style it. It's not blonde whatsoever. This is blonde. This is blonde. Yeah. I have to figure out what I want to do with you. We're gonna wear it first, okay. And for those of you watching at home, if you're wondering, I sell wigs I never worn before on my website. And if you wanna buy my used wigs, like, you know, if I upcycle something on this channel, that can be found on my Depop. Yes. <laughs> no difference. Okay, let's cut some layers into this bastard of a wig. This is too long. Look, look at, if I had to tease this, I'd break an arm, okay? I would sprain my arm doing this. We're not doing that. And I'm thinking maybe like a Sharon Tatey kind of look. I think that could be fun. Iconic blonde Sharon Tate. Yet another role Marco Robbie got instead of me. That was a Quentin Tarantino movie. I had never stood a chance. I don't have pretty feet. It's fine. Now, I'm so excited you guys are enjoying the Wig Wednesdays. Because honestly, I have waited my whole life to like have a schedule. Believe it or not, I have never really worked with one. Even when I was in school, I was never good at keeping a schedule, which is partly why I was not a very good student. <laughs> the teacher would be like, the homework is due this day. And I'd say, we'll work that out. You said Friday, I said next Thursday. I work at my own pace, which is partly why I graduated from a charter high school. Now, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna title this series just yet. And as you know, I like to work off community. And by that, I mean, give me ideas. So if there's an idea you think that works instead of like trash the treasure, because honestly, some of these wigs aren't that trashy. They're actually quite nice. Like this one's not terrible. <laughs> this looks manageable. We still gotta cut a few more tear layers into it, but I'm feeling good about this. I'm gonna layer the rest of this and I'll put a curl in it and I'll be <laughs> right back. All right, we are back. I have the hair all curled up and I put it in this setting pattern. So take a good look at it. This is her. She is set, honey. I decided we're gonna do like a beautiful victory roll inspired haircut. Depending on who rocks it, it can be sort of like, you know, rockabilly girl or a matron that works at like, you know, a woman's prison in the 50s. Depends who's wearing it, you know? It could do a number on anyone's face. Now this is a hairstyle I used to hate. I don't know why, like I just thought it was kind of unglamorous. And then I saw the Silk Spectre in the Watchmen movie. And I thought, Sally Jupiter, you are a bad itch girl. She rocked that victory roll. So ever since then, I've always liked it. Fun fact, she was based on the comic, The Phantom Lady. Let us start teasing you out. Oh my God, I also get like, um, like Lily Tomlin. I forget what the character is, the telephone lady. Ernestine, that's who it is. I knew I remember. I have an amazing memory of things I wasn't alive to see happen in real time. This is beautiful, oh my God. I'm glad I cut the layers in. Look at me thinking ahead. Now it is, now something funny happened during the break while I was curling this wig. I was actually about to promote the wig behind me to say that it's on my Depop and it literally sold. Thank you, Denise. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Be sure and snatch up these wigs because there's some good deals on there. There's double stacks and stuff. Like they're used, but they still look good. They still got some life in them, baby. I just gotta tease this bad boy up and I'll be right back so we can start doing the style out. All right, <laughs> be right back. All right, we are back. I have the hair all teased out. Now let's start styling this. I'm gonna start with the front because it's the most frustrating when it comes to victory rolls. 
I haven't done them in forever, so I'm interested to see if like I still have it in my body. If I'm able to make victory rolls come out of these hands. Come and see me with these hands. I love this style because it is very, very simple to do. It's just take a little bit of patience to like get the rolling right. But I do love it. Like you always think of like those classic actresses from like musical era. They always wore these kind of hairstyles. Like they're very glamorous that they're done right and worn with the proper thing. Like this with like a sparkly long evening gown is really serving. Or if you want to go like more of a modern look, it's very Mildred Pierce. Like Joan Crawford loved her some victory rolls. I feel like that's kind of like folded into her persona as that look. I always think of like Betty Hutton. Me on my Kelly Mantle. Oh, right. <laughs> you ready to rock and roll? Now, if you want to be sassy and do something with the sideburns here, go right ahead. You know, that's that's your prerogative. Now, we sorry I got something happening here, okay? She's a little messy, but she's coming together. I haven't pinned it yet and I haven't smoothed it out. Now, the back is hard because like, you could go like full Lily Tomlin with it and have like a nest of curls in the back. You could page boy it, it could be finger waves. Like there's so many options. You could do updos, lots and lots of options. I remember back in like the early 2000s, this was like a really popular pageant queen hairstyle. It was like updo victory roll. I saw it everywhere. Like every pageant, some girl would have that wig made with like the rooted hairline in the back. Super glamorous, super elegant, very Joan Crawford vibes. And it's good, you know, you can do, you can wear it for a pageant and then you can do a Joan Crawford number after that. You know, the bitch is back or whatever you're feeling that night. This color with this vintage hairstyle is actually kind of serving. Like it's very much like one of those old school, like brunette that freshly got her hair dyed at the studio kind of hair colors. Like Carmen Miranda had her hair bleached this color. Or um, even Judy Garland and Meet Me in St. Louis. Whoever gets this on the website is really gonna be in for a treat because she's gonna be pretty. You can see the back is already starting to get smooth and beautiful. Oh my God. But that's essentially what you want for the front is for this one, like you gotta pick your sides. Here and here, or you can do center, off center. It's completely up to you. You can put a bang there. Just know that when you do it, this back section here has to curve behind like that in order to hide this section here. Now you guys, I have a bit of a dilemma on my hands. I have to ask you because you're my viewers. Um, what day do you think will work for the live streams? Because I have Wig Wednesdays. I was thinking maybe Thursdays, possibly. We'll have to see. I want to set a dedicated day for when we'll go live and have fun and hang out with each other. Fridays might be off the table because it's just so packed. Like the weekends, the weekends we talk about it, like my bookings and everything. Like I don't want to have to miss a live because I have a booking. Or chances are like I'll do a booking, be there all day here in Las Vegas and just be too exhausted to do a live. Because that happens. Those things suck the life out of you. Like you're fun, but baby, you just come back wiped out. Yeah, help me decide what's a good day for live streams. Because honestly, I've been loving the live streams. Like they've been so much fun. And y'all have been such a fun route to like kiki with and just sit there and cut up. It's fun. Yeah, this hairstyle is just about there. I just gotta smooth it out. All right, now for the final part of this, I am going to basically curve it under, which I've shown you before in the Dinah Doors video. It's just an under rolled page boy. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna smooth it out and tease it up a little bit in the back, just give them more poof, that support. That's what I'm going to do, but for the most part, she's pretty much done. It's just a matter of smoothing. So, I am going to fix her up a little bit, and I'll be right back with the final <laughs> results. Welcome back! This is the final result, and I think she looks really pretty. Like, check it out. Like, that is a page boy, yes! And the victory rolls are really pretty. Again, this is one of those glamorous hairstyles that's just a classic. It never goes out of style, okay? She is ready for the Miss Car Show. Yes! <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you ever want help with vintage hairstyles, baby, I am your girl. I have a whole menagerie of tutorials you can go through. Oh my goodness. <laughs> But yes, this wig is officially from trash to treasure, or whatever we decide the new title is, because honestly, it wasn't trash at all, but it is definitely a treasure. She will be on the website. Be sure and snatch her up while she's still there. Now, I'd like to take a moment of a Venmo moment where I think everyone has tipped me on Venmo. I would like to thank Patrick and Samantha. Thank you all for the tips on Venmo. And I also have some YouTube super thanks from DB. Thank you, DB. Martha. Thank you, Martha as well as Abby, thank you Abby, and Robin. Thank you all so much for the YouTube super thanks. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this. If there's any kind of like trashy wigs you wanna see me transform, or if you have a trashy wig at your house, send it to me, my PO box is down below. I'm always thrilled to like take something trashy and make some treasure out of it. Now don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Now hit the outro. <laughs> Click it.
Kieran's and we style a wig on live. Or if we refresh a wig that belonged to Eureka O'Hara. Come on, click it, you know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll give you victory rolls that make you look matronly. So click it. It's going for a divide.